Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Grim Fandango. Last time, oh wow, there's a shortcut here, I guess it heads all the way around here. But anyway, last time, we, oh yeah, I want to be down here, sorry, I'm getting lost. Last time, we got ourselves, uh, so we got ourselves a union card, we got rid of Naranja, 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 however you want to pronounce it, because they keep changing it. All we need left are to get some CB tools. Now the CBs themselves are the only people that we know that... No, 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 don't go in. Just there. That makes it easier. If you just press the directional button there and then hold down shift to run. Anyway, CBs are the ones with the uh, tools. So how can we get the CBs to give us the tools? Hmm. That is a question. Anyway, there's some people I neglected to talk to over here. Crazy. What's this book? Labor organization and revolt made easy. Aha. I wonder if we can get the CBs to revolt, and they won't need their tools anymore, and they'll give them to us. But don't you see? When the government fades away, so will our troubles. Ah, nonsense. We will always need some armed force to fight off the return of capitalism. That sort of fascist thinking is as dead as you are, comrade. When we get rid of all the guns, that's when people will begin to self-police. And the public opinion alone will keep them from committing crimes. Hola, trust funders. Hey, look who's making the scene. It's Manny Calavera, the up, the down, the backside of the nouveau riche. Beat it, dinner jacket. We're talking about things you wouldn't understand, like truth and beauty. I bet they have shirts with Che Guevara on them. These, oh, these kinds of people. And these kinds of people still exist today. That's why we have our current government in the United States. Anyway, so they have a book about... Uh, Revolting against, uh. Hey, can I borrow this book? Companies, Why? Whatever. So you can freak out our plans for organizing labor and go rat us out to your pal, Chief Bogan? Hey, I'm just looking for something to read on the can, alright? No dice, Cumberbund. <laughs> we want that book, but uh, these guys seem to be into the whole freedom fighting thing. Well, we do have something from a freedom fighter that may interest him. Perhaps they would like to join with Salvador. So let's show them this uh, thing we've got. Hey, did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. But now that we've uh, got their attention... Would you cats mind if I dug on this book for a while? Knock yourself out, brother. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, check the book that we got. Labor Organization and Revolt Made Easy. Chapter 1. The Workers Shall Control the Means of Production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. What does that have to do with Glottis? <laughs> okay. Well, it doesn't matter. There's nothing pertinent with Glottis and that. But we can show it to the CBs. Because right now, the union that they are in is crap, and they need to take control of their own fates. Because the workers are really what determine, you know, what happens with the company. If You know, a boss should be able to do what he wants, but the workers will be the ones that determine whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing. If they, well, it's a complicated thing. I have my own opinions about it, let's just leave it at that. But we can show this to the CBs. It's been a while since we talked to them, it feels like. 
I think these are the words you're looking for. The workers shall control the means of production. The workers shall control the means of production. Yes, that's it. That's what I've been trying to say. Who will stop the fat cats of industry from building these ships with the pollen of the exploited working class? I say we fight back! Hmm, what's this? Maybe a bee agitator? I say lay down your tools right now and show the man just who makes the honey around here! You know, I always thought bees came in two colors, yellow and black. But you look all red to me, my friend. Ah! Hey, what are you doing? We've got the right to assemble peacefully. Good. You're going to need a lot of assembly after we take you apart, comrade. Betty! Get me a lawyer! Get me a lawyer! Hogan. That's gonna make it tough to spring the kid and get him back out here. Good thing I know a lawyer who owes me a favor. So at this point, um, if you haven't uh, spoken with uh, what's his face, the lawyer already, and uh, gotten uh, you know that uh, cigarette case and that key and everything, now is a good time to do it. But if you've already done that and you have the key by now, then we can use it. It's weird. Who tried to leave us that key anyway? Well, he obviously the lawyer obviously didn't want us to have it, so we got it. So, what are you guys doing to free Terry? Hmm. Guess it's up to me. Absolutely nothing. Anyway, I'll just tell you right now, the key goes to this lighthouse right here. Let's run on over. It's locked. Luckily. Have this. Now, what could be in here that's so important? Lola? Careful, Manny. You may not want to see me like this. Lola! Did Nick do this to you? Yeah, he wanted that picture real bad. But he's never gonna find it, that thing. I'll get him, Lola. I'll show Max the picture for you and fix Nick for good. Just tell me where you hid it. Oh, Manny, it's all my fault. Always falling for the wrong guys. You know, I even had a thing for you once. But you were so hung up on that Meche woman, I, I figured I didn't have a chance. Lola, where's the picture? Tell me, Manny, when I've had a chance? Never mind. She just want Olivia for me. Tell her to improve her taste in men. Or she'll end up just like me. Tell her to get a nice guy, Manny. Like you. Lola! Lola! Oh, no. Oh, Lola. Hey, there's a picture of a tongue on it. And it says number 22, Lengua. So, uh, that key was left to us by Lola because she obviously also left a note wanting us to meet, wanting to meet us at the lighthouse. But Nick got to it first, probably followed her, and killed her and took, and well, he tried to take the picture, but apparently she doesn't have it at the moment. So where is it? The one thing she left behind... this lengua number 22 hey there's a picture of a tongue on it and it says number 22 lengua hmm. well there's only one place I can think of that has anything numbered with weird names and that is the cat tracks I don't know if you remember but there's actually a counter over where the cats are that has pictures of the photo finish races Sprouted? What's happening to this town? Oh, big city crime, Manny. 
We're getting more of it every day. I know you probably hate getting it this way, but Naranja's job's yours now. No, Velasco, I don't know if I'm comfortable taking that. You'll take his job because there's no one else I can get on such short notice. And the card? Let me see it. Oh, 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 one of Charlie's rush jobs. Good thing your new captain's far-sighted. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Okay, I didn't mean to come over here, but I guess you get that dialogue. I always, for some reason, I always think the cat tracks are this way, but no, they are this way. Ugh. So let's see. Go back here. Need to find the uh, photo finish place again. Should be up here. Is this the place? Anybody there? I told you we don't give out the kitty hats till Tuesday. <laughs> oh yeah, that's. Kitty hats on Tuesday. That's actually something important to remember. Anyway. This is a photo Hello. finish place. Oh, hi! Betting stub, please. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. So let's, uh, see if we can't give him this card. I don't remember how you figured this out, honestly. Let's see, select. I don't really want to do that. Okay, that doesn't work. But anyway, I want to look at something real quick before we uh, do what I want to do. Let's look again at uh, this thing right here. Beloved Sanspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacaba for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. There's actually some more important information there, but I'm actually remembering something. This card is not for the racetrack. We were eventually going to get here to the racetrack, but I was completely wrong. Well, not completely. But uh, that card is actually uh, for the coat check. I'm an idiot. Lola left her coat. So we need to go back. get back to where I need to be, to the uh, Calavera Cafe. Again. I just remember, it's like, I was trying to figure out how we knew this. I was like, landing number 22, I guess that's the racing area, because I know you need to get the photo from the racing thing, but we'll see why in a second, because this is actually a coat check number. Let's uh, talk with the coat check girl again. Evening, Lupe. Lupe. Hi, Mary. Okay, back to work. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's just show it to her. I thought she was going to, like gonna have more dialogue about it, but whatever. Hey, this is a card for my new coat check system. You do care. Can I have my coat, please? You bet. This is so exciting. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. 22, 22, 22. Lengua, lengua, lengua. Darn. What's wrong? Just shoot me. Lupe, what is it? This can't be yours. That's it. Thanks. What are you doing with a tiny girl jacket? I don't suppose there was a camera back there anywhere. Uh, 
No. She must have hidden that somewhere else. Uh, I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay, so when Lola left that uh, note for Manny, she also checked her coat and made sure to leave it here for us. So let's see if there's anything of use. There's a little slip of paper in one of the pockets. All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? Hmm. 36, the rusty anchor. Let's uh, take a look at it in the inventory. And that's nothing. Okay. Anything else you say? All that this paper says is number 36, the rusty anchor. What is that supposed to mean? don't know. I'm actually trying to figure things out here. Um, might be a little bit lost. I kind of know what to do, but I'm trying to remember how to go about doing it. Let's uh, head back down here. I do want to go to the racetrack. We're, we are going to want to end up there now. Number 32, the Rusty Anchor. Actually, I don't want to head that way. Keep wanting to head that way. No, this way. We actually want to head to the uh, tattoo artist. Uh, I'm trying to remember why. We want to show him the paper. Well, let's talk to him first, see if he gives us any more information as to why I should be doing this. So in uh, we go. That's the problem with uh, going through an adventure game for the second time or whatever time is. Sure, of course, I understand. Don't remember things. Don't remember how to solve certain things. Definitely. Reports. Hey, Velasco. Manny, do you mind? Artist at work here, eh? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, hang on a second. This mean anything to you? You mean beside the song, the poem, and the bar, and the statue by that name? Sure! It is one of my most famous designs. Here, I show you. Let's see, uh, number 30, Harmin Sedge, Harmin Skeeter, Harmin... Ah! 36. Here. Hey, what is this? My friend Lola left that here for me. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Lola was here, sweet girl, like daughter to me. Tell her Papa Toto says hello. Right. Uh, you said that? I guess, uh, if we had... Actually looked at You've it. Got guts. Oh, hang on a second. Reach yeah. for that again and you will pull back a stump. Yeah, oh. but I wouldn't exactly call that quality time. I guess. I think these are binders of tattoo designs. So the lady not at the dinner. nice. And a third one just says anchor mania. Okay, so that's uh -huh. how we supposed to figure uh -huh. it out. I didn't even see that before. So we have to know about that. Oh, by the way, we should probably look at the picture. Nah. Nah, should have gone the other way. Looks like these cats are almost scruff and scruff. Wait a minute. So this is a photo finished picture right here of a certain race. 
This is what I've been looking for. Oh, marry me, Olivia. Aw. Oh. Hmm. So there's something important about this. This is, uh, it says number 114. And that, is, that six is the number of the race. Now, here's where things get interesting. We want to use the stub printer that we got a while back. So let's see, um... Now there are numbers here. And I believe... Oh, wait a minute. Let's uh, take another look at that picture. One second. Yeah, this is kind of how you solve the puzzles. And this is uh, a bit difficult. Anyway, there's something else you should notice. Notice that there are people wearing kitty hats. Yeah, that is... Uh, I almost missed that. Now remember, see the kitty hats? Kitty hats are only given on Tuesdays. So this race was done on a Tuesday. And this was race number six. So two important things to know, because we want to print out a fake stub for that picture, because whatever is in the file where that picture originally was will be something else far more important. So let's get back to the thingy. And let's use it. So, all right. So is this is the uh, weeks? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was the print button. We want to actually go back to this and actually print the right one. Okay. So for the, uh, it was week two because on the, uh, plaque of the statue of that cat that we saw, that was actually the, uh, week that was most prominent there. And that is the race that we actually saw. And it was on Tuesday because that's Kitty Hat Day. And it was race number six. Now let's take a look at that. I how many of those things you can actually print. Oh, too many. Okay. I think, uh... It's a betting stub for, let's see, Tuesday. Week 2, race 6. Alright. So that is what we want. We finally got it, so... Whatever is going to be in, on file for that picture, there will be something else. Lola has given us this gift. She set out the clues. And trust me, these are hard to figure out the first time. Pretty much it's like, how, how, how do they expect people to figure this out? I've, I couldn't even figure it out now, even though I pretty much know what, this, what to do. Ah. Alright. We have the stub. Let us use it. Hello. Oh, hi. Betting stub, please. Here you go. Hey, this looks different than our usual ticket. Well, uh, that's because it's from uh, last season. All right, just a second. <laughs> there you are. Aha! What? Are you a winner? Big winner. Thanks, pal. So we put Glad the original picture help. back. And now we have something. We have the blackmail that we need. It's Lola's last work. A juicy photo of Nick and Olivia kissing. So, uh, now Nick will have to be our lawyer. At least for the, uh... The lawyer for the CBs. So, back to the VIP lounge, which is this way. I believe it's this way. I think that guy was up to something. Don't you, Doug? 
Doug? Who? Oh, that guy? Personally, I think he was nuts! <laughs> okay. I think it's supposed to be saying that they're like the same guy or you think they're the same guy. Yeah, let's go! Oh, Glottis. Get that mouse! There he is. So let's talk to Nick. Look what I found at the photo finish booth. Looks like Naughty Kitten and Bad Tomcat are neck and neck. What do you want? I want to tell you a sad story of a young man unjustly imprisoned merely for speaking his mind. It's time to shake up the hive! I guess our business is settled. Almost. <clears throat> what? Was that for the photo, girl? No, that was just for being you. I don't have time to get you for Lola, but I'm sure somebody will. You didn't have time to save her either, but don't feel too bad about that, Manny. I hear saving women really isn't your forte. It has time to save her either. Okay. Oh, I bet the bee was in this jail before. I might have to uh, uh, show you what that means in a bit, but let's uh, go inside. Okay. Well, the sea bees are out. Let's see, do I have. I guess I have to go back and talk to them. And maybe now we can get the freaking tools. Ah, oh, this is taking quite a while just to get these, it feels like. So hopefully they'll be at their usual spot. And cutscene again of elevator. Da -da -da -da. Lost on this part. I don't are know how. I don't know. Lies? Lies? No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. No more lies. Sea bees. Sea bees. Free bees. Do I Free bees. Sea bees. Sea bees. Free bees. Free bees. We're strong. We fight. We're killer bees tonight. All right. We're strong. We fight. Oh well. You watch. I'll get out of here. First. Hell no. We won't work. Right here. Hell no, are these we won't tools? work. Hell no, we they won't look work. like it, but how do? And Manny's looking at them. Those are some pretty big tools. Big I'll just have Gladys come pick them up flies. on our way out of town. Oh, oh okay, flies. okay. I don't no think anybody's lies. gonna be no using them for lies. quite a while. No more lies, no more lies. Are we bees or are we? Okay, so we did not actually have to pick up the tools. They were just right, lying right there. That's what was confusing me. Okay, so we now have everything we need to get on the boat. All we need to do is just get Gladys there and we can go. But, what will happen once we get on the boat? I sorry, I can't think of a good cliffhanger because we pretty much don't know what to cliffhang on. Well, let's see if we can start our way to finding Lola, or finding Mecha again, next time on Let's Play Grim Fandango. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.